Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CS4. This is a picture by my very, very talented friend, Tanya Dakin. She's a photographer in New York and Philadelphia. And this is the after. Uh, we've already started to work on this photo. And what I'd like to do today is walk you through how to taking the before, which is right here, uh, which is a black and white photo where we already added some color to the tights and the scarf. Uh, and what we'd like to do on this one is add some color to that door and blur the background as well as make a vignette around the final layer of this photo. So if you have a photo up and you've already dropped it to black and white, you can start here and pick up where we are. I have unlocked the layer by double clicking, just say OK to that, and hit Command J. That will make a duplicate of this layer. You can turn off the background layer just so we don't damage it, and we're working on this layer right here. Now, in order to put color back into a photo, there's a couple places and ways you can do this in Photoshop. We're going to try uh, one simple way today, which is to go down to your layers uh, and launch a hue and saturation layer. Once you launch the hue and saturation layer, just click Colorize, and you'll see the entire photo takes on a cast uh, that is based on the hue slider right up here. In this case, I'm going to make that door blue, so I'm going to start to move the entire color of the picture into this kind of navy blue area. I'm going to move the saturation up a little bit, roughly around uh, 35 or 40 should be fine. And to get some depth to that color, I'm going to drop my lightness value on the slider on the bottom down a little bit towards maybe uh, negative 15, negative 14 or so would be fine. Um, so you can select a color that you'd like. Now what you can see is that we basically have a color cast the whole photo, which is not great because that's not what we were trying to accomplish. But if you click on your mask here on the side, you can invert this mask, in which case it will hide that entire color adjustment. If we hit invert, you see that our mask shows black right up here. And this is where the fun begins. I can grab the paintbrush tool. <clears throat> You're going to be painting in the mask. So you want to paint with white, which is the reveal. So if I can select a brush up here, get that nice and soft, maybe not too soft, but somewhere down towards 20%. Click just outside the picture to activate that. Click in the mask. And let's alter our brush size by hitting the right bracket bars until you see your brush get a little bit bigger. Let's also zoom in by Command Plus. And let's start painting in. I'm basically just going over the picture. I'm working in the mask over here. Make sure you have brackets around your black layer mask here. That means you're live in the mask and then bring your brush right over the photo and start painting in this blue. I'm moving pretty quickly, so it's a little bit of a sloppy, down and dirty job I'm doing here, but I hope you start to see that I'm able to colorize that background. We can come in a little closer by Command Plus, brings me in a little bit closer, alter my brush size by hitting the right or left bracket, making it smaller to fit into these tight spaces. Now you obviously want to take a little more time than I'm doing here in this demo to kind of get these edges nice and clean and change your brush size accordingly as you try and fit into these tight spaces. But I'm going to move it around pretty quick in here and show you our finished product, at least with the door. Come in and brush in a little bit. Now the softness of the brush will create a lot of spill, which is the spilling over of color technically. Um, that's what that refers to, but right here, I'm not too concerned. We do fall off into a lot of dark areas, so that's okay. And I'm coloring this in. I'm moving pretty quickly. I spilled some on the brick. I've spilled some on this gentleman's hat, uh, but we can always take that out. If you do have spill, you want to get rid of it. In this situation, let's say I got some on his hat. That's not great. We can see it right here. Just select the opposite, which is black, and you will mask that out by painting right over that. And let's fix up the edge of his coat, so I'm going to reverse again and paint with white which is to say reveal and go in here with a small brush by using my brackets get nice and small and get in there now let's back out or let's fit this to the screen so command zero will fit that picture right to the screen again and we can see we've made our door a different color by turning on and off that layer uh, I can go in here and make my brush a little bigger and clean this up a little bit add some more blue now this is fine if we stop right here but we can pick a blend mode from our drop-down menu at the top of our layers palette here and uh, we'll actually enhance the way that blue looks on the door. So let's pick overlay. Now it just kind of laid itself into the door, which is great. Um, it looks much more like it's part of the door. 
You can try another blend mode of soft light, not as powerful. I like overlay and sometimes you can drop it down to about 86 or 87 percent, maybe 80 percent, and just find the sweet spot that you like for that. What we're going to do quickly now is if you're on a PC, we're going to merge these layers up and you do that by hitting Control, Shift, Alt, and E at the same time. Again, that's Control, Shift, Alt, and the letter E. I'm going to do it on a Mac, which is on a Mac, it is Shift, Option, Command, E, and we merge these adjustments to a top new layer that accepts all of them in a target layer. We can now turn off the background here and this is our dominant layer. If you're at this point in the video, we're going to pick up again with how to add a vignette and blur the background. So tune in for the second part of this video.